Take a shot every time I say fall in this video because you will be wasted. Hi everyone, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about some of my fall essentials. I love fall and I've already watched so many of these videos and I already have a list of things I need to go buy specifically for the season. So I thought, why not just share mine? Somebody might enjoy it. <laughs> Fall is just the best time. It finally starts to get cooler outside. You've got Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. It's just, uh, it's the best. So let's just jump right in. One of the first new fall essentials I have for this year is the shirt I'm actually wearing. I got this online at Shop Disney. It's just like the Disney store's website. Um, but I got the Disney World one, obviously, because that's my home. <laughs> But it's a special like Halloween top. So it's really sparkly as you can tell. And then it has Disney World's logo right here in candy corn colors. And then the back says Walt Disney World. It's like a jersey tee. I'll show you, give me a sec. I don't know if you can see very well. This is what it looks like. I'll leave it linked below so you can get a better picture of it. They also have a Disneyland version as well. It's a little bit pricey, but honestly so worth it because it's amazing, it's comfortable. I love it. Other than like sweaters and fuzzy socks and things, there's not really a whole lot more clothing wise that I could show you. I will say though that Goodwill is an amazing place to get sweaters. Just go to the men's section. You can always find some good ones, comfy, oversized. It's amazing. Hit up your local Goodwill. <laughs> Next thing I want to talk about is food. Yes. One of my favorite, favorite things to get in the fall time are these Pillsbury sugar cookies. These just have the ghosties on them. I already made a batch of the pumpkin ones and then there's also Scooby-Doo ones that I saw at the grocery store the other day. So these are just tiny little sugar cookies that have characters on them. They're super good. I don't know, they're just kind of like a staple for fall, I feel, so. I just buy them every year, they're awesome. The next thing I have is one purchase that I've made recently that I'm super, super excited about and that is my French press coffee thing. <laughs> I had this at my mom's house uh, last weekend and it seriously changed my life. <laughs> so I just have a bag of like Dunkin' Donuts, just regular plain old coffee um, that I put in here. You put some grounds in the bottom, you just, you know, however many scoops you want. Uh, I usually do too. And then you either boil water like in a kettle or I just use the hot water that already comes out of my Keurig. Fill this up and then you, this obviously comes apart, you put this on maybe just like that. You let that sit for five minutes and then when it's done you just slowly press down on it like that and when you do that all the coffee grounds are going to go to the bottom and then you have yourself a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> It just makes it even better because it's the, what am I trying to say? The coffee grounds steep in the water for, you know, five minutes. So it just makes it richer and stronger and it's, oh, it's the best. It'll change your life. Go grab one. And then for creamers, I have two different kinds that I've been using. I have the peppermint mocha and of course the pumpkin spice. Both are amazing. Both I recommend. Um, yes. Now let's move on to home decor. First thing I want to show you guys is actually behind me. It's not my fireplace, but it is what's around my fireplace. All these little lights here. I'll show you in just a second. So I just have some curtain lights and then I have three tarot card tapestries that I, you know, hung up. I've been in this apartment for an entire year and I just now decorated the top of my fireplace. But it's seriously so cute and it has just put me in the best fall mood ever. This side's a little brighter because of my window, but it looks super, super good at nighttime. I love it. Next item I have home decor related is something I actually bought last year and it is this pillow. It says, always be thankful on the front and then the back is just black and white plaid. This pillow is so cute no matter what side you flip it on. It's very fall, it's Thanksgiving themed. I'm pretty sure I got it in the Thanksgiving area of Hobby Lobby. It's usually where I go to get my fall Christmas decor. Next thing is candles. So I just bought this giant spiced pumpkin woods candle. Looks like this. I got this from Kroger and it was um, like seven bucks, whereas Bath & Body Works candles are like 25 bucks. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend buying the generic ones just from the grocery store. They're just the same. This one's just as strong as the Bath & Body Works ones. It smells just as good. 
mm, it's just awesome and it fills your house with this fall goodness. Another fall essential is a dog. Here's mine. I got her at the shelter. Um, there's a lot of doggies out there that need homes, especially during the fall times when it's cold outside, so go rescue, <laughs> go rescue yourself an amazing puppy like this. <laughs> and they'll grow up to hate you. It's fine. Where's my other puppy? Come here. Come here. Okay, come here. Here's my other puppy. This one wants to murder me, I'm pretty sure, but you know what? <laughs> Fine. Now let's move on to the miscellaneous category. <laughs> um, so with fall comes Halloween and so I feel in a really spooky mood. <laughs> so last year for Christmas one of my friends gifted me this little set of tarot cards. Well, it's not really tarot cards, but it is animal spirit cards. It looks like this. It's freaking amazing. And basically, it's just a big deck of animal spirit cards. You can do spreads if you want. There's a big book in here about, you know, what each animal card means and all that kind of stuff. So you can do spreads. You can just draw one daily. Um, but it's really cool and it's a really pretty deck. Let me actually open this up and show you. This is the book that comes with it. Um, you know, it's just a big book about what all the animal cards mean so not much explaining to do there and then right under the book you have the actual deck so when you open up the box you can then draw your card so the one that was just on the top is the otter card they're just really really beautiful and i just love them a lot let me see if i can find a really pretty one here's a cool one this one is the cobra really cool a sea serpent that one looks pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, sometimes I'll draw one in the morning to kind of set my mood for the day, set my tone. Um, and you can do spreads with these as well. It's just, it's just a really, really fun thing to do. And the, you know, the book will tell you how to do all of that in case you're a beginner like me. So I say this every single thing freaking year, but I really, really have been trying to read more, and I've been doing good. I've been reading this novel called Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. This is from the same girl who wrote Girl on a Train. If you ever read that, I haven't. That might be my next book, actually. Uh, the movie was not so great, but I've heard the book is awesome, so I'm gonna read that. Um, but yeah, I feel like the fall time is just the perfect time to read, I don't know, a book about crime, a book about spooky things, mystery, you know, not, I'm not really in the mood to read like fluffy things in the fall, if that makes sense. I also want to try to read at least one of the Harry Potter books, um, you know, since they're like 10,000 years long and I'm just kind of a beginner <laughs> in the reading world. I'm no Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Um, so I'm trying to ease myself into it. And speaking of Harry Potter, that is another fall essential that I have and that is the entire series of the movies. Um, I don't know, fall time is just one of the best times to watch Harry Potter. I mean, I pretty much watch it year round, but especially in the fall, I don't know, just wizards and the Christmas time at Hogwarts, it's just, it's just the best. I can honestly probably do a whole video on my favorite Halloween movies, my favorite fall movies, you know, if you guys would like to see that, I can do another one come Christmas time, because I have a lot of favorite Christmas movies for sure. Some TV shows that I like watching in the fall is like Stranger Things, um, Friends is a good one to watch in the fall. There's a lot of good holiday content in Friends. That's really my go-to for shows in the fall is just shows that I can really binge watch and that are kind of easier. Um, but then sometimes, you know, I like the crime thrillers, different things like that. Can you uh, stop crunching that toy? Um, yeah, that's all the fall essentials I have for you guys. If you have anything particular particular that you like to have in the fall time, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And turn on the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I hope you guys have a fantastic fall season. And, uh, yeah. That's all. That's all I got. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.